Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have the same problem we did on the previous video, but the suggestion of my wonderful wife, she said, what if I made the wrong assumption and I assumed that Rob was slower than Jim rather than faster? It seemed to make sense that he was faster, but if we just make the wrong assumption? Let's read the problem and see why we need to make an assumption like that. Again, the problem deals with distance, time, and velocity. And it says that Rob travels from point A to point B along a 200 kilometer route in three hours less than Jim, who travels from point A to point B along a 240 kilometer route. The difference in their speeds is 10 kilometers per hour, so they don't tell us who is faster and who is slower. We have to figure that out. And find their speeds and the time each took to get to B. So now we're going to say, hey, let's say we Assume that Rob was the slower of the two. Can we still get the correct answer? And remember, we need to use the equation that distance equals velocity times time. So let's start with um, uh, velocity. So let's start with Jim. So we're going to say that V is equal to the velocity of Jim. And on the time for uh, Jim, level T equals the time for Jim. Okay. So now that we have that, we set up the equation, and the distance for Jim is 240 kilometers, so 240 equals the velocity times the time. So we still have the very same equation as before. Now we're going to define uh, Rob. And so Rob is now the slower one, so we have to write V minus 10 is equal to the velocity of Rob. But Rob takes three hours less time, so t minus three is equal to the time for Rob. And then we get the equation, 200 is equal to velocity, which is v minus 10 times the time, which is t minus three. And will we get the same and the correct answer? All right, we need to do the same substitution, so let's go ahead and take this equation. And let's say that, um, solve for V, V is equal to 240 divided by T. So we're going to replace that into our equation right here. And so we end up with 200 equals 240 divided by T minus 10 times T minus 3. And then again, to get rid of T, we're going to multiply both sides by T. We don't like that t in the denominator, so we multiply the left side by t, and we multiply the right side by t. Remember, it can only multiply it times one of the factors, not both, because it's a product. And let's see what we end up with. On the left side, we end up with 200t is equal to, on the right side, notice the t's cancel, so we end up with 240 minus 10t multiplied times t minus 3. Okay, now we multiply this out and see what we end up with. 200t is equal to 240 times this, which is 240t. This times this, that would be plus, oh, not plus, that's a minus. Minus 720 minus 10t squared and plus 30t. Moving everything over to one side, we have a minus... 10t squared. 240 minus 200 is 40, plus 30 is 70, plus 70t, and minus 720. And I can divide everything by 10 and multiply everything by negative 1 because I don't like a negative in front here, so I end up with 0 is equal to a positive t squared, minus 7t, and then plus 72. Can I factor that? I'll try factoring, see that works. Zero is equal to, multiply, I get 72. They both must be negative. And um, when I add them, I get negative seven. There's no way I can end up with two numbers that add up to negative seven. And when I multiply, I get a positive 72. I cannot factor that. I probably cannot find a real solution to this problem. Let's try the quadratic formula. So we have t is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 times a times c. 
And right away I begin to see the problem here, all divided by 2a. So I get 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus, that would be uh, 280, 288. And so you can see that if I make the wrong assumption, I end up with an imaginary solution. It is not possible to solve the problem if we make the wrong assumption here that Rob is slower because it cannot work out. Rob cannot be slower and cover 200 kilometers in three hours less than Jim, who can then cover 240 kilometers regardless of what their speed is. Then there's no solution. So definitely guessing the right one is the way to go. It seemed to make sense that Rob had to be faster, but even if you guess the slower one, you end up with the wrong result. You can't solve the problem, and that, that way you go back and then change your assumption that Rob must be faster. All right, that's how it's done. Good problem.